implementing the Facebook login code. In the last lecture, we have seen the roadmap, how we'll be using that, how we'll be implementing the Facebook login code. And in this lecture, we'll write that code. Before proceeding further, let me uh, discuss once again what our plan will be. Uh, we have to store app ID and app secret key in our program. This is the first thing that we have to do. This will connect to our Facebook app that we have written already. Let us do it now. Here we are. So we have created a Facebook client object and specify two properties client identifier and client credential applicator. The first property stores the app ID and the second property stores the app secret key. These as we know we have already defined in our C constants file and these are the app ID and app secret key for our app that will be connecting uh, that will be connecting through Facebook. This specification is one thing. Now we have to write code for sending the request to the Facebook. So the sequence I'll just uh, revise immediately. Whenever we want a user to use our app, the first thing we do is we'll just connect to the Facebook and ask for the permissions from the user whether he allows uh, giving information to our Facebook app because those permissions might be very private to him like his own email ID, his phone number, his friend list. When he gives his permissions, Facebook sends us a token. Then that token we have to send to Facebook to obtain the desired information. So this token will be obtained into our app and we'll send this token back to Facebook. From this token, Facebook will give us the information about which the user gave us permissions here. Let us start to implement this one. So we'll write our code. This uh, will be written in our action method called login. I authorization state. If so this is how it works. Uh, we'll have to uh, use this interface called IE authorization state. This can be obtained from client dot process authorization. Initially this will be null. If it is null, then where do we go? Then we have to go to seek the permissions from the Facebook server. So here is the code we'll write. Here we have written client dot request user authorization and here is a IE enumerable of strings and the list is email that we want to know from the uh, Facebook. Facebook uh, email is a special permission. So this uh, will request to the Facebook to send us this uh, information. User has to give his consent for giving us the information about his email. If authorization is null, then you go to the Facebook. And when you go to the Facebook, Facebook will call back to this a login action again. It is a redirect URL. So you will come back to this one from Facebook. But when you come back with the proper permissions, authorization won't be null and the else part will operate. The same function will be called two times. First when you are requesting permissions from the Facebook, the second when you have come back and now you are with the permissions. If null is not equal to because user might not have given the permissions. If the user denies then your access token will be null. So here we have to use this access token to obtain the information about the user. So as per graph API we have to send a request to graph.facebook.com by me uh, me stands for the currently logged in user. Uh, this is a requirement of the graph API. In the query string you send the access token. And if response comes.